We're at Lutheran High School where tonight the Crusaders take on Goodman Pembine in the in a regional final game tonight. Hello, everybody. Alongside Jim Leipom, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Jim, we got a tough game tonight. Pembine comes in 20 and four, same as Lutheran. Yeah, it's another uh, round in the playoffs here, and you know everyone knows the more rounds we get into, the bigger the teams are going to get, the more well coached they're going to be. So tonight. We're going to have a good test here, but uh, I think the Crusaders will be ready, and uh, we'll see what happens. One of the things I think that Lutheran might have to their advantage is uh, Pembine has a lot of junior stars. Lutheran, even though they're uh, somewhat young, they still have senior leadership. They do. They got those three seniors at start, and then they got a bunch of uh, sophomores and a freshman. But those three seniors like to step it up. The number one guy, Sam Decker, let's see what he can do tonight and uh, control the tempo. Now, one of the things that uh, Goodman Goodwin Goodman Pinbine has is they have pretty good height. They have a kid by uh, uh, Brennan PRK. He's uh, six seven, averaging over 13 points a game, and uh, Austin Lorenz is averaging just over 11. He goes six four, and then he got another kid six three, uh, Zach Sparza, and uh, he's averaging almost 10 a game. So that's a lot of height to handle. That is a lot of height, and you. During warm-ups here, they're upper north. They're from the upper north. They're little bigger bodies up top too. So Lutheran's got to control those boards, give them one shot, and like the other night, they got to get the ball up the court. They got to move the ball and get and control the tempo. Now, I don't know. I don't know if you realize this, Jim, but uh, Tyler Zastro is not starting tonight. He got in a little bit of trouble, and uh, they're starting Jeff Hess instead. Yeah, they have a team policy. Saturday didn't show up with the right stuff on, and. Uh, that's the way it's going to go. Uh, look for him to get back in there pretty quick, though. Yeah, hopefully he will. We're going to step out right now, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's regional final basketball game. It's more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwaterisweird.com. Back at uh, Lutheran High School, they're getting ready to uh, do the introductions for tonight's game. Uh, we'll turn it over to uh, Reverend Berglund. That's Trent Heath, the point guard. Oh, my God. 
The officials for tonight's game are uh, Dan Bramschneider, Dan Magnell, and Paul Ford, and those gentlemen are from the Pulaski area. Never seen any of them before. Uh, Jimmy, my brother-in-law, said he thought he recognized them, but okay. uh, I don't know if you do, I don't. I haven't seen it, yeah, I haven't noticed any of these. This place is jumping right now. Yeah, she's packed there. You get a good shot of uh, Todd and Mike and Nick. Brain trust for the Crusaders. You know, we talked about as you move up in the tournament, you know, the competition gets stiffer, the refereeing gets better too. Yes, they got three refs tonight too, so. Let's be ready here. Goodman Pembine Sorry. in a zone and Looks uh, like Hass Fox makes and a three. Fox and one. Huge. Well, it isn't like they haven't seen that before. They haven't, yeah. They've definitely seen it. Man-to-man -man defense by uh, the Crusaders. Heath has it looking inside. Couldn't get it inside. Tasses it back out to Spreda. And uh, they're being very patient. Deep shot is, that. yeah, no yeah. good, but uh, Pembine comes away with it. Second shot is no good. And Decker pushing it. Uh, Lipom uh, tried to dish it off to uh, Wheeler, but uh, threw it out of bounds. Yeah, they tried to push the ball a bit. Good take by Phillip to get to the lane, but got to make that pass. And you're right about... Uh, PR key looks pretty comfortable just <laughs> standing out there. That's what shooting. he was doing during warm ups there, yeah. Sam's got him right now, and he's sitting out at the three point line, so. Goodman Pembine averages uh, 70, 67 points a game. They give up only 49.5. Hess open again, lets it fly, no good. PRK with the rebound. Yes, yeah, Sprata, number 31, he's, his main thing right now is you're inside of Sam Decker there. You do not let him get the ball back. Lorenz posting up inside, being guarded by uh, Wheeler. Pretty good defense there. Lutheran playing very tough defense, making it very difficult for uh, Goodman Pembine. And as I say that, yep, they Heath pulled, goes for a layup. Yeah, they pulled it out and then he went right around Hess. Three to two, Lutheran on top. Decker forces one, couldn't get it in, but he gets fouled. Picking up the foul was uh, Zach Spreda. Yeah, Marty, like you said, Lutheran seen box and one, so they got some plays. Let's just see if they're disciplined enough to get set up into those plays and uh, work that offense a little bit. Usually in that box and one, you're gonna need some people to sh hit some shots, but let's see if we can work the ball around and get some good shots. Well, it looked like that last time, uh, basically all four of the other defenders were really keeping an eye on uh, on Sam, you know, wherever he went. And if you can, like you said, if they can hit some shots from the outside, it forces them to draw attention yep. away from him. Austin, has got to make their free throws. Wheeler working real hard inside, guarding Lorenz. Long shot is no good, tipped out of bounds by Lorenz. I'll tell you, Wheeler is really doing a job on the inside defense. He's down there, yeah, he's pushing, you know, he's getting his body into the guy. And there you go. Redeker, Redeker kisses it off the glass. Six to two timeout. Goodman Penbine, 30 second timeout. 
I was just thinking, you know, that when Wheeler keeps the ball from being passed inside, if that guy catches it inside, what do you think the first thing he's going to do? Pass it out somewhere. That's what I'm thinking. That's yeah. And, and this way, if they can't get it inside, your perimeter defenders can stay with their guy. Yeah, because that guy from Goodman, he's down there. He wants that ball, and Wheeler's denying it, which is doing a good job. He's got to keep it up and uh, cause some havoc for those guys. <laughs> Redeker, well, the last time we were together, Nick had a couple of nice shots inside yeah. that he didn't make, and uh, that was a good one to start off with. Yep. Well, you know that, being a scorer, hit yeah. that first shot that sometimes can get, really get you going. If, if that big guy can make a couple of those first couple of shots, it's always a big thing, too. So they'll find him on that box. He's just got to finish. Heath being guarded by Hess. So sophomore on sophomore. A little bit late was Lipom. Jump shot is up and in. That didn't look sweet, but it certainly went in. Dylan Church. Pass is uh, stolen by Goodman Penbine. Trent Heath has it. Redeker uh, with a block. Helping. This is what Lutheran's got to do. Get out and run. Don't let him set up. Reaching foul. That's yeah, going to be a foul on Goodman Penbine. Lorenz picks up his first. And a good shot of uh, Boston Lorenz. Uh, throwing away. Trent. Overlay got pressure. Good from job Hess. by Hess to run all the way back there, yeah. And then Lutheran throws it right away. Take care of the ball. That's three turnovers. Sastro in there, yeah. Yeah, light pump coming out. Six to four, Lutheran. Three and a half minutes left in the first. Kind of low scoring affair so far. They do get the ball inside. Lorenz on a leap and leaner. Got the rebound back, put it up again, no good. And Decker on the push. Above the rim to get that rebound. Wheeler's shot is off. The tip by Decker is no good. He's complaining he was held, no call. Heath shot is uh, no good. Boy, he had a good look, too. Drove it hard to the hoop. Yep. And another throwaway by Josh Wheeler. Four out of the last five trips down. That's turnovers. And just based on the last couple minutes, it doesn't seem like running, pushing the ball up the court really is uh, no. Lutheran's forte. Not right now. I think that's what they got to do, but they're a little, I think maybe a little jacked and maybe a little nervous. Just got to get that under control. Aubrey Koyster once said the worst basketball you could ever see is the first two minutes of a north-south game because everybody was jacked. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I think they're going to get Zastro on that. Yeah, no talking. Zastro's trying to play D and then ran into the guy setting the pick. Nick Redeker coming out. Uh, Phil Zastro back in. And uh, checking back in for the uh, Patriots is uh, Brennan PRK. And coming out is uh, Spreda. Tony Shufflebein checked in when we weren't looking. Another fadeaway is up and in. That must be Church's uh, favorite shot, that fadeaway. Yeah, he's got a couple of them. Zastra right on him. We're all tied up at six. Let's get a bucket. I hear you. Decker from 13. Off the iron, no good.
Trent Heath, oh, there's a foul on uh, Spreda. He was definitely, or shuffle by and definitely stuck his leg out. Yep. That was an easy call. They like running that dribble right off that screen there. And ref's got to keep an eye on that. You know that. who that reminds me of? That guy from Wisconsin, I think it was maybe a year, last year or two years ago, Crabintree. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Inside feed, the yeah. Decker is shot is off, no good, but he is fouled. All goes on Trent Heath. That's the fourth team foul on uh, the Patriots, and each player has one. Sam had a one for two trip earlier, and now he misses the first one here. And if I recall, the last time I was with you, Jim, he had troubles that night also with his free throw shot. That's, that's been their problem the past two weeks here. They got to get these free throws to go down. You know, playoff time, it's one or two points. Exactly. The margin of difference is so low, and you can't let things like free throws uh, get in the way. Nope. Kiss off the glass is good by Spreda. And they lead for the first time tonight, 8-7. To Found a little bit of a height difference there with Jers playing them. Sastro's shot is off. One twenty remaining in the first quarter. Eight to seven, Goodman Penbine. Lorenz couldn't get it. You got to get one shot. And a uh, tip by Juris goes off of uh, Sam Decker's hand. Let's see who steps up here for Lutheran. You can tell they're nervous and. Let's see who can, you know, along with Sam, who can step up here and calm this down. Right to Juris, and uh, quick foul, picking up the uh, personal is going to be Austin Lorenz, and that's going to be his second. And that'll be the fifth foul, and we're not even through the first quarter. Goodman at least brings some guys on their bench. The last two games, Lena and uh, Oneida Nation, they brought... Maybe a team of maybe seven or eight guys. So That's what I heard. I think one guy got in foul trouble in the first quarter. Yeah. Gron checking in. Juris Rainbow three is good. The freshman. Ten to eight, Lutheran. S guarding uh, Heath. And uh, who are they going to get on the foul? Straight up. Juris, I think. Juris. They're battling down low there. Jers is trying to get around them. That was a tough foul, but. Five second count. Heath didn't get the timeout in time, and it's a turnover. Forty-five seconds. Light bomb coming in again. A uh, little talking going on down at the other end. Lorenzo, uh, I don't know what. They're exchanging uh, recipes or yeah, <laughs> what they did in class today. Juris. Quick release, light palm, no good. Decker controls, and uh, 30 seconds left. Light palm kicks it out, Juris again, no good. 20 seconds, 17, 16. Uh, it's, that's not good play inside by Josh Wheeler. He's got to have enough confidence, just take it back out and get it out of traffic. Yep. He was in the right spot to get that rebound, but then lost it. Grebin in the game for uh, the Patriots. They've played a lot of guys in this first quarter. There's a carry, not called. Pierce going on a blitz. Shot at the buzzer is no good. Zastro from three-point land, couldn't get it in but they had a good look at the end. We're at the end of one quarter play. 
Luther 10, Goodman Penbine 8. think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. <laughs> yeah, back at uh, Lutheran High School, uh, Jim was just saying, we were talking about uh, how Sam played that first quarter, and, and you said generally as a team they were nervous, yeah. <laughs> so let's see if they can get through that. They're up two now. Let's go to the second quarter and let's uh, get going here. Like we were talking to during the timeout, we got Sam down low against that boxing one. Should take advantage of that. It's Astro guarding Heath now. But underneath, uh, Wheeler has got uh, Lorenz again, uh, getting a little help inside from uh, Lipom. Church's shot, he's three for three. Oy, oy, oy. Everyone is the same, too. Leap and leaner. Decker turned an ankle. His shot is no good. Rebound. Call on and Lorenz is followed by Juris, and that's his second. First free throws by Goodman Penbine. Hess in for, for uh, Jers, who picked up his second there. Hess, no good. Decker's tap is no good. And Spreda comes away with the board. Pembine on top, 11 to 10, and they have the ball. A little more quickness by Hess. He might have had a breakaway. Dylan Church way short. A little out of his range there. Decker off the glass and in. Forced it, but he got it to go. They like getting that body on him too, so. Out of control, travel. Heath uh, trying to do too much. Another 30-second timeout by uh, by the Patriots. Well, it's nice to have the lead back, Jim. Yeah. But uh, I'll tell you, baskets are hard to come by. They are. They're they're down here battling. You know, Goodman's down here battling on that D, not giving Lutheran anything easy. And Lutheran's just got to calm it down. <laughs> Did your uh, swallow a little funny when you saw Decker down there? Yeah, I know. Gingerly I was like, oh. going off on that ankle. <laughs> wow. Came down on the other end. He told his, he told coach, I'm all right. Let's keep an eye on it. You know, the other thing, the way the game is going, uh, he hasn't gotten any rest yet. He's no. Spread is... Uh, the one man, the other four players are in a uh, four-man zone. Wheeler open. Boy, that shot looked good, but uh, just wouldn't go. And uh, the Patriots seem to be coming down with a lot of loose balls. Lorenz trying to pass it into uh, Spreda, but uh, Zastro got great position. Yeah, Zastro grabbed that one. They're down, the coach over here on Goodman, he wants this ball slowed down when they come well, down on this other end. If that foul was on Spreda, that should have been his second. 
And they got it now on the board. Yep. Six fouls. Next foul, Lutheran will be shooting. Sastro with a hand in his face, couldn't get it in. Attack the hoop. Sastro again. Bango! Fifteen to eleven. My thing is, if your if your jumper isn't falling, take it to the hoop. But Tyler just said, "Hey, I'm going to shoot that one again and nail it." Jump shot from ten is good by Spreda. Yeah, Spreda's down there. He's doing whatever he can to get the ball. A good inside feed, but Wheeler couldn't make the catch, and Lorenz comes away with the loose ball. Bobby Knight once said, you know, the game is really easy. If you can catch it and pass it, it's not that hard of a game. What else is there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, light bomb a little bit late. I like the idea. He's down there battling with Spreda down there, and then he stepped up and tried to get that steal. Like you said, Marty, a little late. Yeah. Team fall situation, uh, the Patriots have six, the Crusaders have four. Oh, I'll tell you, you know who was wide open underneath the basket? Did you see that? PR the big, set the, the cross fella. screen, then he you know, squared up and uh, Redeker just wasn't ready for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, neither was the inbounder. No. <laughs> Castro, around and out. Lightbomb, got it, three-pointer. I think that's the first of the year for Phil. <laughs> it's about time. Yes. <laughs> I don't like that, another light bomb. Yes. Heard from. One shot. shot. No good by uh, Spreda. Decker, bango, another. They're only going to give them two or three. A two. Two-pointer. Crowd coming alive. Another timeout. Third one in the half by uh, Goodman Pembine. And uh, it's a full timeout, Kerry. So we'll take a short break. Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare number. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol, where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected fraud. Oh, back at uh, Lutheran High School, and there you see some of the crowd. It's a packed house tonight. Uh, Goodman Pembine is about a three hour drive. That coming from uh, Patty Kramer sitting right next to us, and uh, they brought down a lot of fans on a work night. Yeah, on a, two, on a uh, Monday night here, three hour drive, but it's playoff time, and let's pack the house. Exactly. Trent Heath being guarded by uh, Tyler Zastro. Redeker inside guarding Lorenz. And uh, playing his own now, maybe? Or no? Nope, man to man. Heath with a long one. Holy cow. That was almost the parking lot. Zastro open. He's got a three. Those are big shots. And big knockdown. We're just going to open stuff up for Sam. Spray to open. Off. And a good rebound by Piarki. And his rebound putback is up and in. His first points, he's their leading scorer. Well, even Sam had a little trouble catching that pass. Yep. 
Get him down on that block. Rolling down to the three minute mark until halftime. It's 23 to 18, Lutheran on top. Sastro from 12, couldn't get it to go, but it's tipped out of bounds by uh, Goodman Pembine's Dylan Church. You know, and Goodman's in some foul trouble a little bit. Let's take it, you know, I can see, let's take it to the hoop there a little bit. That three point shot's nice, but. Light pump shot is off, and Church runs it down. Biggest lead of the half was uh, seven points a few seconds ago. And uh, as I look at my sheet, there aren't any runs per se. You know, it's been a back and forth affair. Yeah, maybe those those two threes Lutheran put together there. Or not, actually, it wasn't a three for by Sam. That was a two. Yeah, but it was an outside yeah. shot. Around and down, a two-pointer for Spreda. Decker in the lane, couldn't get it, but he's going to have two free throws. So I'm thinking you got to keep taking to the hole here, and then then rely, then go out to that three point shot. But Lorenz's third foul, third foul on Lorenz. You're right about the uh, you know, foul trouble thing of taking it to the hoop. Yeah. And then let's make some free throws. <laughs> here, here we you. go. <laughs> so did Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Three for five, looking to go four for six on the night. He does. 25 to 20. All right, one, two, two here. There we go, I like this. Switch up your D. He you shot get off the rebound. glass. There you go, Redeker. Hess, left open, didn't take it. Double Patience. team inside. Patience. Attack. Hess open, couldn't get it. Zastro. Decker, strong rebound, powers it Go up. in there. Couldn't get it in, gets it right back. Get him off. And then he's fouled. Thank you. Falls on uh, Spreda, that's his third foul. Keep going at him. 115 remaining in the half. Eight team fouls. Uh, by uh, the Patriots. Decker's found his groove now. He's made the last uh, five free throw attempts. Going back to their zone here. Good call by Coach Decker here. Because he got to get the one board, one shot. Decker blocks the shot and gets the rebound. Lorenz not used to seeing that kind of height. Decker from outside the line. Couldn't get it, Redeker tried to get the board but couldn't uh, gather it in. Spreda, no good. He gets the board back though. Travel. Trent Heath had it. Lorenz couldn't get it. Rebound Decker, we're at 30 seconds. Might want to pull it out, boys. Eh, let's not. Zastro. 20 seconds. I think there's a case where he's not really looking at the clock. Yeah. He's not aware of the game situation. Hess still. Hess with a tip. All the way. He gets fouled on his way to the basket. Foul's going to go on Trent Heath. That'll be his second. Hess will be shooting two. Uh, pardon me. Yeah, he'll be shooting two. Two shots.
It's 27 to 20. This is the largest lead for Lutheran. Let's see if they can build on it. Hess had the first points of the game. He nailed that three from the corner, Jim, and uh, he's been uh, silent since. Yeah. Nice to get him a free throw here. And Jeff does what he does, you know. He scrambles all over the place. He gets the offensive rebounds, defense rebounds, steals. There you go. Good he's free a, throw. I was going to say he's a really nice kid to come off the bench. Yes. He can score a little bit. He plays real tough defense. No foul. No foul. Shot at the buzzer is no good by uh, Roman Greben. And we're at halftime here at Lutheran High with the Crusaders on top, 28 to 20. Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All less than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwaterisweird.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. WSCS Sports and all local programs are viewable on demand at WSCSSheboygan.com. Click on Programming in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, select VOD Player, and then select the appropriate menu item. Now, in this case, of course, it would be Sports. Let's go through some first-half scoring. For Goodman, Pembine, Trent Heath had five points, Austin Lorenz had one, Zach Spreda had six, Dylan Church, six, and their high scorer, Brennan Piarki, had only two points. For uh, the Crusaders, Nick Redeker had two, Tyler Zastro, six, Bill Leipom, three, Jeff Hess, four, Jacob Juris, three, and uh, Sam Decker had ten. Uh, Jim, what are your uh, thoughts of the first half, and what does Lutheran have to do to keep this uh, and build on the eight-point lead? Yeah, they're up eight. You know, after that first half, they're, you know, they... They couldn't make a shot, you know, and let's see if they if they can control their, you know, control the tempo again and take it to the hoop and knock down some threes. <laughs> I'm pretty much saying everything, but. Yeah, well, I get you. That's what they need to do. Yeah. The winner of this game will play uh, the winner of Hilbert and Green Bay, Northeastern Wisconsin, Lutheran, next Thursday at Chilton, my old stomping grounds, and uh, they got a real nice facility over there. Uh, but uh, that's what's going to happen. That'll be the first round of sectional play. And then the finals of sectional play will happen on Saturday, March 10th at Wapaka. Anybody want to take a look at that? Yeah, Hilbert pulled off that win the other night against Surin, uh at Surin. So they play tonight against NEW. And then the, uh, the winners will face off on Thursday. And we're out of the gates here in the second half. 
Goodman Pembine uh, looks like they're in a zone again. And uh, Wheeler, for the third time at least in the game today, has just thrown it out of bounds. You got to take care of that ball. Those possessions are going to become big time here. Yeah, they're going to be critical. Wheeler, a senior, too. You got to have better play out of him. Redeker got away with a push inside. Shot was missed by Spreda. Becker with a fade, no good. Steal. Tip away by, look out below. And a hold and he couldn't get it in again. Sam had an open look but uh, couldn't get it. He was fouled by Zach Spreda and he picks up his fourth early in the third. Jim, how do you handle that kid with four fouls now if you're the coach? I'd be uh, pulling him out right now. And as Jim speaks, nobody is at the table checking no. in. <laughs> Minute into the uh, second half here, and he's got four. Yep. Ten-point lead, biggest of the night for the Crusaders. Hess uh, hounding Heath as he brings it up the court. Church. Fade away. No good. Lutheran on the bust out. And, and Lipom is hurt. He's down on the floor. And we get an official timeout, but he did make the layup. With the left hand, I might add. Yeah. That's all coaching from you, Jim. Yeah, out in the driveway at uh, mom and dad's. <laughs> Heath inside the lane, couldn't get it. Hess with a tip. There we go, one shot they're giving him. That time he's outside the line. Nails a three, Decker. It's 35 to 20. There we now go. we've got a run, Jim. Let's count them up. 12 point run. All right. It was 23 to 20, and uh, they've run off 12 straight. There we go. They, you know, they're pushing that ball. Phillip taking to the hoop on that layup, getting some guys in foul trouble. That's what they had to do. And again, uh, Sam measuring where he was on the court and saw the opening and just pulled up and took it. I think that was the first time all night that he found himself wide open. Well, he did on the first half, remember? He pulled up, yeah. but he was just in, had his foot on the line, True. I believe. This one, no one was even within, you know. I think he's like, holy cow. Well, he, you, know what, you know what he's thinking? I didn't make those layups when I was fouled. I'll just nail one there from outside. Go. Start out and move in then. Yep. Let's see if he can get one all the way in on a nice close, maybe dunk. <laughs> Goodman was uh, at State back in uh, 95 or 96, somewhere in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, somewhere in the middle to late 90s. So they've got uh, history on their side. Now, just this, starting this year, they combined with uh, Pembine. So those two smaller communities combined for one high school. Okay. They have an enrollment of uh, 132. So you can imagine, you know, one school had about 50, some the other at 80. Yeah. So to combine was a good move, and that's why uh, Coach uh, Osterman only has one year as head coach, even though in reality, when you come, when you take the school he was at, he probably had about five years of head coaching there. Okay. Basket is good by Spreda, and he's fouled. Redick are kind of riding him there. Nick Redeker picks up his first foul. All right, let's be disciplined with the ball here. High palm open from 10, couldn't get it in. And Lorenz with the steal. Just doesn't work when you try to dribble it through three no. guys. 
Someone's going to get it. Decker working hard on PRK inside and Hess with the steal. Yeah, Tess, or Hess coming over there, knocking that ball free. Decker from way outside the line, no good. And ball goes out of bounds, tipped out of bounds by uh, Trent Heath. Jerish and Zastro in a couple of scores. Zastro open. Got it. Nails a three. He's been hot. He's hitting that shot down. Maybe we should bring him off the bench all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Heath uh, pushing hard, and uh, Zastro picks up the foul. Good job by Trent Heath pushing the ball to the basket. Yeah, that first half, Goodman kind of walked the ball up the court. Now they're kind of picking it up. Lorenz uh, got it inside, was followed by Redeker, but missed the shot. Austin Lorenz had a quiet first half. I know we talked a lot about the inside defense on him. He only had one point. It was a free throw. Redeker picking up two quick ones here. This is only going to be the fifth free throw by uh, Pembine. He got that one in. Zach, up now. You got four. Whoa. Redeker from 10. Got Ooh. it. That's a shooter's roll right yes, there. Yes, I was just going to say that. Whatever way, it, we'll take it. 40 to 24. Spreda's shot is off. They're going right at Redeker down on his other end. Oh. Too late. Yeah. He Church actually, was ready. Uh, he should have thrown it right away when he was on yep. top. He didn't need to penetrate. There was nobody over there. Yep. And uh, Spreda comes out with his four falls. Coach left him in there for a good two or three minutes after he picked up that fourth. And he did a good job not picking up that last one. Exactly. And still being pretty aggressive down on the other end. Mitchell Gron in the ball game for uh, the Patriots. As is Heath and Church. And PRK and Lorenz. And there's going to be a double dribble. Here we go. Good block by Lorenz, but he's going to pick up the foul, and that's going to be his fourth. Down on the southern end, these guys are freshmen and sophomores, and they're picking up their D, and it's looking good. You know, come playoff time, all these teams get, you know, you got to pick up that D and get in their face, and I'm liking Lutheran how they're looking down on the other end here. When... Uh Spreda picked up his fourth. You thought Coach would send a sub in right away? He yeah. Did. But with the Lorenz picking up his fourth, he did send a sub in right away. <laughs> and uh, that was uh, Shufflebine. There we go. Juris, rainbow three drops right through the basket. Oh, man. They you found him that time. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to say, you know, you miss a free throw. And then it comes back, and, he, and they still get a three on it. Again. Zastro open. Oh, couldn't get it in. PRK with the nice, strong rebound on the other side. Straight up. Get it, Redeker. There you go. It looked like Wheeler got a hand on the shot. Yeah. Even. Zastro. Shot was blocked by uh, PRK. Juris nails a three and he's knocked to the floor and no call. I think a two pointer. Two pointer yeah, there. He was him. on the line there, but he also got knocked down. Should have been a three Big point. Big shots play. out of that freshman. 
Don't pick one up. Church is shot. Redeker. Redeker gets it out. Uh-oh. Look out below. Boom! That's it. Take that. They've doubled up on Goodman Penbine. 48 to 24 and a timeout again by the crew, by the Patriots. Oh my, I don't think they've seen that kind of a dunk all year unless it was on TV. <laughs> and they'd have to be watching Syracuse. You're not gonna see that from the Badgers. <laughs> nice by Sam. Is Bo in the house? I don't think Bo, but the assistant coach here. I think he's standing right up there against the wall. Yeah. Gary, Gary. Guard. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We can put it over here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good replay of it. Yep. Good job in there, Kerry. Uh, we got the Wiesman brothers here tonight working the cameras. Uh, Mike is on top. Eric is uh, down below. Kerry Kautzer running the truck, spinning those dials. Jim Leipom stepping in again for uh, the tardy and absent Chris Wright. Yeah. And I'm Mike Martin. We've got uh, the 18 plus coming on here tonight, Jim. <laughs> I was nervous here now that the last uh, couple minutes here. I can tell. To I can tell you were you were really pretty tense in you know, <laughs> the first half. I told it in that pregame. I, you know, I was a little. Every game here is madness. So yeah. Well, the more you have invested, the more important it's going to be, yes. and uh, you know, the more tense it gets. Probably a good thing to take a timeout, if nothing else, to give Sam a little bit of a break, because I'll tell you, he spent a lot of energy on that dunk. Yeah. Get one. His Astro shot is no good. Decker on a putback, in and out. Heath uh, on the push, but uh, good job of getting back on defense, but then he nails a three anyway. There you go. Good look by Sam to get that inbound. Jurs. <laughs> Jurs. Was it a two? Yeah, lay, uh, layup. Turnover. Turnover by Goodman Pembine. Oh, he's coming back with the kid with uh, four fouls, Zach Spreda. Checking out is uh, Roman Grebin. It's probably the toughest thing to do there is, you know, you got to decide, okay. Oh, good block inside by uh, PRK. How long do you keep him on the bench? You know? yeah, exactly. You got nothing to lose yeah. anymore. Good tip away. There's a case. It doesn't pay to throw the ball into three men either. Hess taking it hard to the basket gets fouled. I'll tell you, the, you can't hardly put your head down. <laughs> I need a partner tonight. <laughs> They're up and down, taking to the hoop. Balls on Dylan Church. We've got a minute 39 left still in the third, so let's keep going at it. Hess getting some playing time tonight. Yeah, Stepping a lot up. of it. Yep. It's his fifth point. Make it six. It's 52 to 27. And a quick whistle. Hess is going to pick up a foul there. That wasn't a good one. Only his first, though. And uh, Lorenz is back in with his four fouls. Checking out is uh, Brennan Piarki. Church, leap and leaner. No good. Decker, Decker. rebound. Nice pass by Sam over to Zastro for an easy two. There you see it again. Good replay. Back to the other end. Lorenz. Oh, he's had a tough, tough night tonight. He's had some good looks and just not able to get it in. Zastro, a little bit flat on yep. that shot. And Shufflebine came away with it. Hustle back. Ooh, push off. Travel, no call. They're saying it was tipped away. Yeah, 
And that foul is going to go on number 31, Zach Spreda, and that's going to be five. With uh, 48 seconds remaining in the third, Spreda goes down or out. He's senior too, so. Yeah, that'll be his last. Uh, one thing about the state tournament you know now they got five divisions only five teams come away winning their last game yep it's a lot of seniors go out on a losing note and we've all been there <laughs> yeah you don't have a state title on your belt do you marty actually i do you do <laughs> but i was an assistant coach okay. at children <laughs> all right <laughs> same year as uh, north and newsburg okay. back in 86. But as a high schooler, nope. <laughs> oh, man. Just getting hammered. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they had more chances than Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting all night to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Something had to get called there. It was oh. sandwiches getting hammered. Really? Somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah. Lutheran's doing a great job down on the southern end, getting those rebounds. One shot, and that's it. Got to like that. 19 points for Decker. You got 35 seconds left. He's going to take a seat. That's a good, I like that substitution. Yep. Figure you were saying earlier, give him a little breather. They've been on his belt buckle all night. Lorenz with a great move, boy, that was slick. Yeah, he pinned Phil down and then he spun on him. Twelve seconds. Nathan Hosenstein in. Light go. palm, got it inside, couldn't get it in, and the uh, desperation shot would not have counted. But we're at the end of three quarters of play. Lutheran, 56. Goodman, Penbine, 31. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwaterisweird.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook. Starting fourth quarter action. 56-31. Piarki uh, coming over to the table, ready to check in. Oh, the shot is blocked. Shufflebine. And then we get a, a whistle inside. Ball's going to go on Redeker. It'll be his third. There you see uh, Brennan Piarki. He's a big boy. He, you know, if you're looking at some of their game logs, too, he, he threw in a couple 20-point games. Oh, yeah. Well, I can see probably, you know, in most uh, games, he's going to be the biggest guy. Notice how Sam went diving for the ball when uh, guard was standing right there. There you go. <laughs> if it's on the other side, yeah. <laughs> 
Mike, if you can swing your camera over to the uh, wall, we'll see guard standing there all alone with all his friends. Church trying That's to do the step back jumper thing, but uh, couldn't get a handle on it. You might need a replay on that one. And we get another foul. This one's going to go on Redeker again. Wow. PRK with that bucket. They got him down at 38 to 36. They got him down at 6 7. Maybe That's we'll get a replay on that Sam Decker dunk. <laughs> he went right over him. It's like that one that where LeBron went over that defender <laughs> dunked it. That one we might be talking about. There it is. Boom. <laughs> Park, Parquet's uh, reaction is pretty good, too. Decker, leaping leaner. He's going to draw the foul. <laughs> Go to the line. Yarkey picks up only his first. Here we go, got a bounce. Sammy getting to play uh, regional finals here in his own gym. 22 and, uh, points tonight. We can get a good shot of Sam. I thought at the start of the game, and I think you'll agree with me, he really didn't let the game come to him, but as we played on, yeah. He certainly didn't, and it did come to him. Yep. He's kind of maybe trying a little too hard, maybe. And then he hit that jumper that was on the line, and that yeah, kind of got him going. Got him going, yep. You know, win or lose tonight, that was a big talk. This is Sam's last game, you know, here at Lutheran. That's right. Well, they had the right idea, just a little bit high on the pass. Yep. And it's been four years of getting to watch him here at this court, so. I think a lot of fans will be taking, give him a little uh, oh, props. Oh, nice pass. Him. Hess couldn't catch it, but uh, Phil Lipom on the uh, good pass attempt. Staters <clears throat> are going to keep it going here. Pick up full court and let's knock this down. Steal by uh, Wheeler. Wheeler, good job. The guy was even pushing on him. He got around him and got that steal. Sastro had the wide open look from three, but didn't take it. <laughs> Lutheran uh, pretty content to run clock. Yeah, that was a wide open look for Zastro. Oh. <laughs> Jim doesn't like that call. <laughs> Bumped him and what if that would have been a one-point ball game? I don't. <laughs> I think it had a hard time yeah. getting out of the gym. Those <laughs> three guys in stripes. Uh, pass too high and the uh, Wheeler couldn't control it. But uh, we did have the double team on uh, Brendan Piarki. Wheeler and Reddick are both seniors. I think they're stepping up big tonight. You know, down below, you don't really see that in the scorebook, but. They're down there, they're battling so they can't get that ball inside. Well, they had that play scoped out. You could yeah. hear the coaches on the sideline yelling out what was gonna happen. They had it defensed. <clears throat> Looks like the same play that Lutheran uses. And Decker with a layup. Four goes the dunk, and for good reason, because it uh, would have been a hard play to make. Yeah. <laughs> Another turnover, this full court. 61-36. Uh, 
bothering Heath a little bit. I think he's feeling it. Well, he hasn't had a many breaks either. Sastro couldn't get it. Decker, rebound. <laughs> get in there. No good. And he's hammered by two different Patriots. Who are they going to get? Foul goes on uh, Trent Heath. That's his fourth. Yeah, Sam playing all four years, starting every game. It's pretty impressive. It is. And you remember when he came in as a freshman, he belonged, you know, on that yeah, first exactly. game. Yeah, so. exactly. You're definitely right there. It wasn't a stretch to have him out there. No. Shuffle by and throws it away. I don't know about you, Jim, but I think this is as, about as good a defensive effort as I've seen uh, the Crusaders have. Uh -oh. Couple players down. Lipom on the bottom. Thank goodness he's okay. Yeah, I didn't know if he got stepped on there. Or yeah. Looks like he got up all right. Yeah, their defensive effort tonight. Even, you know, the last two games, all three here in the playoffs, they've been stepping it up. And I know Coach Decker's been pushing that, you know. Decker. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah. He's this, having fun tonight. He is, and the crowd's loving it. Juris uh, trying to make the good pass, but had it intercepted, and then uh, Zastro picks one off. <laughs> Sam says, get me out. Get yeah. me out. <laughs> Phil Lightbomb will be at the line shooting. Who picked that one this up? This is it. There you go, Sammy. We do not have a rule at WSCS for standing up and cheering, so you're more than welcome to do that. <laughs> he might be done for the night there. And the Crusader Nation giving him a good uh, standing ovation. Got him with 28 points. Wheeler comes out. 404 left in the ball game. Yeah, it, Sam did kind of look over at coach and say, hey, give me a break. <laughs> Redeker. Redeker. That's a 66-36, a 30-point lead. Out the Juris, Rainbow, Woo! down. JJ. Good penetrating pitch. Lorenz trying that spin move again. Got it in. Off the bang board there. And that breaks a big run by the Crusaders. It's a 13-4 uh, run. Nice. Checking in is uh, Craig Kovakowski, seeing his first action of the night. Glad to hear Reverend Berglund got the pronunciation yeah. right. <laughs> All right, they've picked up their free throws here and done a good job since that first quarter. Yes. Decker was two for four in the first quarter, and since that point, uh, the free throw shooting has been much better. Yeah. Oh. 
Castro ties up uh, Gron. Swinging around. Run some clock. Eisenstein open underneath. Ozzy nice in a nice feed into uh, Redeker for an easy two. That was sweet. 73 to 38. Yeah, they pulled it out, worked it around, and got a nice dump down to uh, Redeker on the block. There you go, Tyler dropping to the level of the ball. Uh -oh. And they are not going to call a foul. No. <laughs> I think that was part of why Sam won it out of there. Ozenstein's going to pick the foul up. Radulski getting ready to check in, along with uh, Mike Madison. And uh, we don't have a name for uh, number one. Alex Gardner is number one. Alex. Fintelman with a rebound. Matt Gum also in the game. Two minutes. Hunter Keeley getting ready to check in also for uh, the Patriots. Getting it inside, but having it taken away was Jacob Ames for the Crusaders. Up his foot. Oh. <laughs> I think the kid knew it too. <laughs> yeah, you, some, some of them you just happen to miss. Yeah. He wasn't over. It was close. Madison looking to take gum. And he does a clanger. And possession arrow points. Goodman pinbinds way. Good D on gum. He decided to pull up for that thing. Gum right in his grill. Matt can play some defense. Yeah. There you see it again. Ooh. Keely put it in though. <clears throat> gum. Wrigley, Spearman, gum. Nails a three. Coming off that screen and bam. For under a minute. Intelman had a shot at it, but uh, not quite quick enough, and then gets his hands all over Gardner. Crusaders are looking at their third regional final championship here. In their history. Under, un yeah, in the history, yeah. Under uh, Coach Decker, I should say. 02. Now, you're the numbers guy, right? I, mean, I am, you yeah. Got, you got all this stuff down. 02. That was with Nick. They won the regional, and then they went on and played Randolph. And then last year they beat Elkhart Lake for the regional final. So, and then they went and lost to Randolph. Gardner nails a couple of free throws coming off the bench. He looked pretty good there. Gum outside the line again, nails a three. Hey, hey. He's waiting for you to say bango on that bango, one. Bango, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Gum. Hey, it's his last game on this court, too. He's Good showing defense. up. 
Good job by Matt. Rebound. Keeley on the putback, couldn't get it. And then getting fouled was uh, Ryan Chile. Fourteen point nine seconds remaining. Sheely will have a chance to uh, get his name in the paper tomorrow. Come on, Ryan. Ames. Oh, couldn't get it in. Under He's 10. not going to pass it. <laughs> He's not going to pass it. Oh, yes, he is. Blocked by Fintelman, and that's the ball game. There he is, regional champions. Another step down here. Lutheran wins it 79 to 42. They broke it open a little bit in the second quarter. They did, yeah. Sam Decker finished with uh, 28 points. It's been kind of their recipe, you know, on first quarter, back and forth, and then that second quarter, breaking that team down. And, you know, they did that the other night against uh, Oneida Nation, and tonight the same thing. So, good I win. We, I know we mentioned it before, but uh, one of the things that they did really well was play defense and uh, showed up in the final score, too, only allowing 42 points. Yeah, and getting those rebounds in one shot huge. And Wheeler, Redeker, Decker, those guys controlled the boards. All right, we're going to step out and we come back. Hopefully we'll have a couple interviews for you. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. Street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post our side. I saw your post our side. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1 800 Runaway to make the connection. Don't you just love running water? Like a world. Joining me are the seniors from uh, this basketball team. Uh, introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Nick Redeker. What number are you, Nick? 35. I'm Matt Gum, number four. This is Regularly Spearmint. Cody Fentelman, number th 21. What number is that again? 21. Josh Wheeler, number five. Um, Sam Decker, number one. What, what's your name again? <laughs> Guys, last game here at Lutheran High, you've had a nice career. What does this mean to you? Um, it's, it's a great experience to get a win. Last home game, like you said, especially that it means so much. Regional championship, bringing it back for a second straight year. You can't end on a higher note than that. Matt, it isn't very often you get you know to play as much as you did tonight, but then to cap it all off, you had a couple of threes. That had to be pretty sweet. Yeah, it was great. I got a great pass from uh, my teammates, and I was just right open, so I just took them. That was a good choice, too. Cody, what does playing here for uh, four years mean to you? 
Uh, it's, I'm, I'm really blessed to be here. Uh, I love the I love the game. Uh, even if I didn't get to play that much, I'm still here to support my teammates and up through the ups and downs. And I'm just a great team player. It's guys like you, and I'm serious about this. I'm not laughing. It's guys like you that make a team go because you're a senior. You maybe don't play that much, but you, you're out there hustling, helping all these other guys get better by playing hard in practice. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? This is everything to me. I mean, outside of the next level, this is everything you hope for, and I'm just really happy we could do this for the school, bring the, bring the plaque here. So it's just been an awesome experience. I noticed in the game tonight, Sam, you went diving for a ball down in that corner of the floor. You know who was standing against the wall down there, don't you? We figured if the assistant coach was on the other side, you probably wouldn't have been diving. What does it mean to you to be playing four years here? I mean, uh, I've, I've been blessed to play four years of varsity basketball uh, on this court. Um, all, these, all these guys work just as hard as uh, I do. They work, we all work hard every day in the gym. And... Um, just the energy our fans give us and uh, the success we've been having is just anything we can ask for as a unit and um, hope we can keep it going. The big cheers you hear in the background are from the uh, Goodwin Penbine parents, their team coming out. Uh, they were a very capable opponent tonight. Yeah, they definitely gave it, uh, gave it all at us in the first half and it was, a, it was a big fight there. We were sticking neck and neck with them for a while and we just needed that run we had in the third quarter to pull away from them. One of the things I noticed after the game, and you guys were getting your trophy out on the floor and walking over, they were out here clapping for you, and I thought that was pretty good sportsmanship. Yep, they're very good sports. They played hard. Um, they have seniors just like us. This is their last game, so you really feel for them, but you have a lot of respect for them too because they're great opponents. Right, great comments. Guys, I want to thank you for coming out here. It's been a great following you. Hopefully we can get a couple more games. You guys are going to travel up to my old stomping grounds for your next game. Chilton, I taught out there for 13 years. So thanks again for stopping down. Uh, it's been great covering you again. With that, we're over at Lutheran High. We'll see you down the road, everybody. Thanks for watching.